Hey guys, welcome back on the Bento Buster, and today I'm going to show you how to make a seaweed wrap. I'm sure you're familiar with a tortilla wrap hack that's trending at the moment. Well, with this wrap, the theory is the same, but I'm not using a tortilla, I'm using a sheet of nori seaweed. This wrap is very similar to an onigirasu, which is a kind of onigiri sandwich, but to avoid confusion, I'm just going to call it a seaweed wrap. The ingredients you choose can really make or break a wrap. If you choose the wrong ingredients, it's going to be bland. And if you put some thought into it, it can be amazing. Guess what guys, I'm going to make you one that is amazing! Today I'm making a yakiniku wrap using Japanese wagyu beef. Yakiniku is kind of Japan's version of a Korean barbecue. And of course you don't have to use wagyu, you can use any beef that you have on hand. But in my case, this beef is readily available at the supermarket, so why not? By the way, you don't have to limit yourself just to using beef. You can use chicken, pork, fish, or even just keep it vegetarian. It's up to you. Now, of course, I could fry this in a fry pan, but visually, that wouldn't be as good. So I've decided to make it a bit more authentic and bust out my yaki niko equipment to make it more visually appealing. Thin slices of beef like this won't take long to cook at all, and this type of meat is super tender, so it's going to make biting through the seaweed wrap a breeze. Okay, now the beef is done, let's start assembling the wrap. To make this wrap, you're going to need a sheet of nori seaweed. And I'm going to place it shiny side down and rough side up on my cutting board. The next step is to take some scissors and cut it like so. By cutting the seaweed along the center line, I've effectively divided it into four separate sections. And those four sections mean four different compartments to hold my ingredients. Now before you start adding the ingredients, step back and take a moment to envision the final product. Think to yourself, how do you want it to look once folded? Then once you have that image in your head, start adding the ingredients. Oh, and I've just added some yakiniku sauce to the meat to give it a bit more flavor. By the way, if you want to get hold of some of these ingredients, I've listed the Amazon links in the description box below. Once folded, I want my wrap to have the same kind of feel as a hamburger or sandwich, so I'm using two separate sections to hold the rice. Okay, the rice and beef are in place, and they are soft ingredients. So how about a bit of crunch? Introducing Kimpira, aka simmered burdock root and carrot, one of my favorite side dishes. It is a real mouthful to say in English, but it does taste great and it really suits this type of dish. And if you want to know how to make it yourself, just click on the link above. Oh, and this is Samjang. What is samjang you say? Well, it's a thick and spicy paste made with Korean soybean paste. And it's the perfect condiment for a Korean barbecue. This stuff really does taste amazing. And along with gochujang, the Korean red chili paste, these are two things that you really should have in your fridge. And there are no arguments about this. End of story. Now that I've got that off my chest, it's time for a bit of greenery. I've just added some lettuce and a shisha leaf, aka perella. And trust me, that shisha leaf is packed full of flavor. And of course, this wouldn't be complete without kimchi. Remember guys, I did say when it comes to a wrap, flavor is important and this thing is gonna be awesome. Okay, this is almost finished. Now the last thing I'm gonna add is shiraga negi, aka julienned long green onion. Shiraga negi is often used to garnish chao shu, kakuni, and ramen. So I'm adding some to my wrap to make it even better. And of course, the last step is to fold the wrap. And once you're finished folding, it should look like this. So what do you think guys? This thing was super easy to put together and actually it was quite fun. Now I'm no expert, but from the looks of it, it's probably a bit more healthier than a sandwich. And if you're fed up from having bread each day, it's probably a nice alternative. So there you go, I've made my case. How about giving it a try? Oh, and what does it taste like? This thing, it's really good. It's packed full of flavor and it tastes incredibly fresh. All of the flavors and ingredients work together in perfect harmony. There's sweetness and spice, and when it comes to Korean food, just the right amount of heat, not too much, just enough to keep you on your toes. And of course, there's umami. And to my surprise, this is quite a light meal. In fact, it's not heavy at all. I feel like I've eaten something really healthy. 
And that's a good thing. So how about giving this rap a go? Okay, and that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm the Bento Buster, and I'll see you next time. Stay strong. Kia kaha.